what's up everyone welcome back to another video today we are checking out crazy dutch bridges so this was actually recommended from you guys on discord so thank you so much for the video suggestion guys i appreciate it and this is like scientist engineer sort of things and this is in rotterdam so let's see what we got it looks such a cool thing here just by looking at that imagine bridges forming together opening up like all different weird things so yeah guys let's see what we got here don't forget to smash the like button subscribe to the channel check out our discord link will be below in the description where we chat with each other have conversations and yeah let's get on with the video see what we got wow look at those bro the variety of bridges has to deal with uh, with the situation in the netherlands the Netherlands is a country with, with a lot of water, waterways, uh, very close to the ocean. Uh, we are below yep. sea level. Nice, no, true. It's creative, uh, but on the other hand, you all, uh, also uh, have to look to the typical site. Uh, what are the possibilities uh, of that site? And, and that also determines partly the, the type of bridge you are uh, building at, uh, at that location. Okay. This is a Roman uh, type of bridge. Eh? Yeah, I don't think this sort of bridge can open up, bro. Nah, bro, nah. Yeah, or masonry bridge. Eh? It's completely built with, with stones. And then the arch form eh, is the most convenient form to carry the loads. The arches are relatively small, but it has to do also with the material. They were not able to build bridges with large spans. I this see. is a relative cheap solution. Uh, adjust the plate girder bridge so you can build up it in totally and then go to the side and put it in position there are numbers on the bridges also inside in the bridge to uh, that's useful for inspection hmm. so if you if you observe something you can make your uh, remarks on paper and say at that position i found a uh, fatigue crack or there is a need for that's expression. actually really good so anyone can actually like check it out and if they notice anything like they can report it that's that's cool conservation and that kind of stuff this is a very modern one well that's this a big bridge form, bro uh, what is an, uh, yeah, an architect uh, no way a very man. important uh, input uh, for this bridge but also due Whoa, to modern man. technology the material is improving uh, so you are able to make that more is really structures. big now this is comparable with the previous one. Eh? Cables I've seen this one the before. Pilot and then to the deck. Eh? So it's a so-called cable state bridge. These bridges are uh, used in areas where you need longer spans. The cable states are an uh, alternative, eh? let's say, for the arch bridge. Also, you have to connect the steel cables yeah, to each other. There are people who like it and to see the uh, the reality of a connection but okay. it could also be done inside the bridge itself and that's a matter of choice yeah this is a steel deck the steel, steel parts uh, are uh, shipped to this area welded together and then they build up a surfacing system an asphalt layer or a concrete layer wow, okay. and this is so-called bascule bridge uh, with one hinge with a contra weight that's the, the one bro. so you need a, a rather light mechanical uh, equipment and to to open and to close the bridge wow, bro. it's more or less an equilibrium that's cool the that's type cool. of the bridge yeah that's that's just a short i mean imagine there's traffic lights red comes up bridge opens up closes and then green light cars can go i mean that's cool, bro. I've never actually seen something like this, like live in, in real life. So I'm actually satisfied by this sort of thing. So, yeah. Choice of the architect. They say, OK, I like to build a very nice bridge. That it makes it very attractive. Mm -hmm. yeah, but there is no real technical reason to choose for this. It makes it more expensive. That's for sure. But yeah, it's very nice to see. And a normal s solution would be that you have a point here and a point here, so it opens parallel, just in okay. parallel, like, like this, yeah, in the direction of the road. No, just one. Uh, if people are making a film in Rotterdam, 
you will always see a shoot from the Erasmus Bridge and from the Willems Bridge. That makes also the city of Rotterdam interesting for filmmakers. Okay. Nice buildings, nice bridges. So that has a positive spin-off. But on the other hand, you have to realize that it costs more money. This is also a Basque bridge, and so uh, let's uh, say the. I can literally imagine how much money is spent here just for service, servicing this bridge. I mean, for sure you need to check it. Like I don't know, every week, every month. I'm not really sure, but it needs maintaining, bro. So it's not an easy thing. Counterweight is below the bridge, so you don't see it. Yeah, and what you see here, that's a typical uh, steel bridge with a steel autotropic bridge deck. If you look it from below, and then you see a lot of longitudinal lips and some cross beams. And that's a typical steel bridge deck and uh, used for movable bridges, and but also for uh, the most modern okay. uh, fixed bridges. Uh, and, and it's not a unique Dutch concept. It's used everywhere. In the States, in China, uh, wow. everywhere you see the same type of, of structure. That is cool, man. Which is built for, let's say, 100 years, 120 years. So how long they actually last? So people can wow. uh, enjoy it for a very long time. That is cool, man. Bridges. Bonus bridge, okay. This is also a cable state, eh? that these tubes eh, are used for other infrastructure. Uh, just wow, for, that's uh, a big uh, one as uh, well, bro. Telephone cables, uh, internet, and that kind of wow. things. Uh, it isn't a part of the, the structural behavior of the bridge. Ah, it's cool. Uh, this is also a very traditional uh, traditional bridge. Uh, you see it a lot in the Netherlands. Eh, and then the counterweight eh, is not below the road surface, eh, but the counterweight is now in this area. And that's it. That so I'm guessing they, they have a lot of bridges that open up because of all the dams, boats want to go through. So I guess this is a thing Netherlands have a lot of. That's with respect to costs. That's a very attractive solution. I want, uh, let's say for a Basque bridge, you have to build a very large concrete basement mm -hmm. uh, for the mechanical equipment as well as for the room you need uh, for, the, for the counterweight. This is wow. just an, a typical uh, inspection uh, tool, uh, and the advantage of, uh, of this inspection tool is uh, that you can uh, put it very easy on the bridge. It's just a truck, and the whole system is folding open. Okay, so you see these people can, actually fixing you know, very stuff. Very easy under the bridge. Wow, so yeah, that was pretty interesting. Really enjoyed that video, guys. I already like, guys. So yeah, let me know your thoughts on this, guys, in the comments below. If you enjoyed the video, guys, subscribe, like the video. And yeah, we'll be seeing you on the next one, guys. Peace out.